So I'm supposed to go vegan, but I haven't bought a single vegetable yet. I'm just I'm just looking for excuses and replacements. It's just anything I could do to get away with anything to do with vegetables or fruits, man. All right, here's all the food I got from the store. Ta-da! <laughs> so apparently I didn't know this. Pringles is vegan. Lace chips, vegan. Doritos, vegan. Oreos, vegan. Oh, bless the heavens. So some of these products are like accidentally vegan. They really never intended to be vegan, but the qualifications met, therefore I can eat them. I can feel myself getting healthier, man. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. I thought this was gonna be hard, but look at this. This sounds super easy. Let's try to get rid of all this. Ah! Vegan challenge! <laughs> Being a vegan is the most ethical thing you can do. Not only does it take commitment, but it is hard work. If you go vegan, you can avoid any form of cancer, heart disease, colds, blues. Being a vegan will make you fit, make you feel more alive. And... Oh. Being a vegan means you have to take away any form of pleasure that has to do with the tongue. And that is no easy task. Oh. Anyone that's not a vegan is a hypocrite, man. Just because the amount of effort it takes to be a vegan <laughs> the almond milk. <gasps> Yo, okay, all right. You know how people say vegan substitute tastes bad? This thing, holy, <laughs> tastes so good. It tastes so good. It's ridiculous. Mmm, the sweet taste of no animal products being used for this type of stuff so that no animal must be harmed or be mistreated for their guidance in life and the human re mm. so good. <laughs> so my roommate wanted us to get Domino's pizza, so he got this Hawaiian pepperoni pizza. I had to get this veggie, disgusting veggie, I mean, I mean, um, I had to get this healthy, nutritious, non-animal killing veggie pizza. Oh, how disgusting. This makes me sick. This, this is what you're eating right now. Does this make you happy? Don't you feel yes, disgusted? This is who you're eating, this. I don't care. <laughs> you disgust me. You know, jokes aside, this, this is actually the worst pizza I have ever had. It's the third day of the vegan challenge and I'm I'm craving meat a lot right now. So it's time to try the vegan bacon. Hopefully it tastes good. 100% vegan olive oil. I just opened it and this is this is how it looks. I I don't know about this man. This is going to be weird. Oh boy. Ah! You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of those futuristic after Earth has collapsed or outer space and only the only kind of food we get is these stuff. It just doesn't look like food. Time to try it out. It doesn't taste like I'm gonna die, but it just... <sighs> I watched Eden Animation and The Odd Ones Out eating this and they were like, oh, this tastes great. They were lying. They were lying. I'm trying to find food and to skip the dishes and there's nothing. There's no vegan food I can find. It's vegetarian, but it's either fried or it has, like it is stuff that I can't eat basically as a vegan. That's kind of super frustrating. Just, I just, I'm just tempted to order food at this point and just eat it because it's getting annoying. I'm so thankful that there's Indonesian people that only eat vegetables. Oh. oh. One of the things that I noticed from eating like a vegan for a couple days, because today is my last day, is that I don't feel like I'm supposed to. Maybe it's because I've been eating Doritos and Oreos like crazy. Honestly though, it's the last day and I don't, I, it's not that, it wasn't that hard. It, it isn't. I mean, like when you're hungry, you want meat, obviously, but after that, once you eat, you're like, okay, 
I'm good now. <clears throat> Alright, it's the morning of day six. And the vegan challenge is finally over. Do I feel as if my life has changed forever? Has my life become cleansed from the filth of meat? Have I evolved into a new form of being in which I can live off of non-animal products? No, no, I, I, got, I got sushi. Like literally, as soon as I woke up, I, I ordered sushi because I'm sorry. <laughs> what it comes down to for me guys is that I tried it and I have a huge respect for people that can live like this. The replacement meat sucked. I don't know why people said it was good. It sucked for me. I have to constantly eat because I'm, I'm constantly hungry because nothing makes me really full. I always have to look up what I can eat. It's never ending. Everything I have to look up because even if it doesn't look like meat or animal products, they might have used like a pig's intestines for the processing and I can't eat it anymore. So many factors come into play and all I can say is that I'm just gonna have a much more profound respect for vegans, but I'm gonna continue to eat meat. Do I feel better? Sort of. I felt always hungry and I felt empty inside, which made me more a little bit more energetic than usual. Do I want to continue? No. Do I feel bad for animals? A little bit. When I stopped eating animals, I actually did feel a little bit more sympathetic towards the animals that are being slaughtered for food or being imprisoned for whatever they can produce for us. I don't know, I think it's very greedy to say I would rather have them suffer for me to have pleasure in my mouth, but that's just the case, isn't it? We were meant to hunt, we were meant to kill and eat those things, but that's why these things taste so good and that's why I'm gonna eat them right now. If you guys are trying to be vegan, I would suggest not starting flat out everything gone, but start one at a time. And and don't don't buy meat replacements. They suck. They they suck. Just live without it.